A great day to everyone. Let me start this presentation with a saying, you cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself by Swami Vivekananda. This is Helen N. Perlas, a faculty member under the Computer Studies Department of Iloilo Science and Technology University, Miyagaw Campus, Philippines. Our university has a vision to be the leading science and technology university in Southeast Asia by 2030. It is located at Barangay Igtuba, Miyagaw, Iloilo. This is my fourth year in this institution and I serve as an ICT instructor to various courses. In here, I learned to love research, to discover more ways improving my teaching delivery by the use of the online platform. I learned to love research as much as I love teaching. And so I conducted researches to improve my teaching delivery using online platform. And now may I present to all of you my study on Utilization of Facebook group for students' engagement in learning activities of ICT courses. Let's start it with the introduction. Online classroom is considered to be a potentially powerful teaching and learning platform in which new practices and relationships can make significant contribution to learning. Making this change can develop potential for learners to take charge of their own learning process and facilitate the development of sense of community among them. That's by Smith and Brain. As of January 2020, 96% of the local population accessed Facebook in the Philippines. Locally, all internet users accessed or visited a social network where 93% have been actively engaged within the same period by Sanchez 2020. And some said that social networking sites like Facebook should not be used for the learning process because it can interfere and hamper students' performance academically. But I believe that Facebook group has useful features which can be used in education, that it can be a platform for online learning. And so this study was conducted to determine the students' engagement in learning activities using the Facebook group. For our conceptual framework, in this study, the independent variable is the section, and the dependent variables are the utilization of Facebook group and engagement to learning activities. Sections are composed of the Bachelor of Elementary Education 3A and the Bachelor of Industrial Technology Food Tech 1A. This study answers the following problems. First, what is the level of students' engagement to learning activities using Facebook group as a whole and when classified according to course? Is there a significant difference in the level of students' engagement to learning activities when classified according to course? Okay, so let's find out. And our hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the level of students' engagement to learning activities when classified according to course. For our methodology, pre-experimental, specifically one-shot case study design was utilized to determine the student's engagement to learning activities. No control or comparison group is employed. In this study, there are 82 participants comprising of 82 students from Iloilo Science and Technology University in Yagao campus from academic year 2018 to 2019. They are 52 students from BEE 3A and 30 students from BIT Food Tech 1A. In the study, 
the instructor created two Facebook groups, one for the Bachelor of Elementary Education 3A and the other for the Bachelor of, Indo for the Bachelor of Industrial Technology Food Tech 1A. The instructor assigned five learning activities to each group, namely assignments, announcements, uploaded course materials, online quiz, and shared status. The level of students' engagement was based on participation in the assigned learning activities. They are to do reacting, commenting, responding to online quiz, and seeing posts, which contain five different learning activities assigned by the instructor. Activities were performed asynchronously online by the students on their own pacing. As to the statistical tool, mean was used to determine the student's engagement and describe based on the following scale arbitrarily assigned by the researcher. For the mean range of 0 to 10, the description is low. From 10.01 to 20, average. 20.01 to 30, high. T-test was employed to determine the significant difference in the level of engagement to learning activities in the, in the utilization of Facebook group. Okay, what will be the results? Okay, so here is the result of the study. Level of engagement to learning activities utilizing Facebook group. The results showed that the student's engagement in the learning activities utilizing Facebook group was low. Student's engagement when taken as a whole or as an entire group was low. When grouped according to section, the BEE 3A students' engagement was low. Likewise, the BIT Food Tech was 1A was low. This means that both sections showed less interest working with their learning activities in Facebook group. The this also shows that the students did not take seriously the learning activities given by the instructor. Learning activities conducted in an online platform, particularly in Facebook group, though it is most popular, does not guarantee engagement of students in terms of online learning. So these are the perceived reasons of students' low engagement towards learning activities utilizing the Facebook group. It is the manner of how the learning activities is posted in Facebook group. It could be the manner. The posting of learning activities was not done by learning units. It was not organized. The students may have some difficulty in organizing their tasks and monitoring their performance because the manner it is posted was not that orderly or it's not organized. The students may not be guided about the learning outcomes of each activity and how important it is in the course. That's maybe the reason why they didn't take it seriously. Let's try to look at the percentage of students' engagement per learning activity as a whole. We can see that the assignment ranked first. It was followed by the shared photos, which ranked second. Announcement ranked third. Learning materials ranked fourth. And the online quiz was the last. This means that the students were most engaged with the assignments and least engaged with the online quiz. Students need more motivation in working with their learning activities in the performing their tasks utilizing this platform. As to the t-test results, 
for the difference in the level of engagement, it says that there was no significant difference in the level of engagement of BEE 3A students and BIP Food Tech 1A students to learning activities utilizing the Facebook group. Here are the perceived reasons of low engagement for both sections. First, content is not carefully designed and organized by the instructor for the course and program. Another, students are looking for more interactive learning activities or varied applications in their online learning. That's why the skills, the competence of the instructor is amassed in the implementation of the online platform because it has to be designed and the content that we are containing in the said platform must be interactive so students will get engaged. Let's now move on to our conclusion and the recommendations. So based on the results of the study, I concluded that both the Bachelor of Elementary Education 3A and the Bachelor of Industrial Technology Food Tech 1A students have similar level of engagement to learning activities, which are low. This may be due to some limitations on the part of the students to respond to the learning activities given by the instructor. And these limitations could be due to the accessibility issue of the said platform, such as we have poor internet connection, incapacity to pay for the internet fee, and the unavailability of the device to be used on the said online learning. So those are some uh, things that uh, we consider in implementing the what we call online platform. Another institution must provide assistance to the students under this mode of learning, such as the internet fee, subsidy, and the device needed, which could be computer, tablet, or cell phone. Students must be made aware of their responsibility in order to comply to their course requirements and not to rely on school assistance. Another recommendation. So instructor must provide clear expectations to students about each topic in the learning activities. So students will take it seriously and respond accordingly. The instructor must also carefully design and organize course content by the use of the Facebook social learning group. Significant difference did not exist between the levels of engagement to learning activities in the Facebook group by both sections. This may be attributed to the aforementioned limitations which they experience in the use of the Facebook group as online learning platform. For instructors, they must consider the interactivity of the learning activities posted and consider the use of the online applications as online learning platforms. And to support the result of the study, similar study is recommended containing more learning activities and increasing the number of sections. Let's move on to the impact of the study. So after I conducted the study, the faculty and students were able to realize the important roles they play in online classroom for effective teaching and learning through the orientation and training conducted by the university in the use of the online platform. So our ICT instructors were able to train our colleagues as to the use of this Facebook group. But at this time, we introduced the use of the social learning, wherein uh, instructors or teachers will be able to organize the content of their course. Our university adopted the Facebook social learning group platform in the online teaching and learning and implemented it this first semester of academic year 2020-2021. It is because due to pandemic and uh, whatever results that uh, I have in this study uh, were able to help 
in the decision making of the use of this platform to education. Also, our university conducted various online ICT trainings on the use of Facebook social learning group through our extension services program to help other schools in their needs this pandemic. And I personally are able to volunteer to train teachers in the private education in this platform so that we'll also be able to adapt it and use it for education. With the result of this study, the Commission Higher Education Department will be held in developing and designing an effective learning management system for online learning to be made available to state universities and colleges. So let's try to look at our references. Before I end this presentation, I would like to share this quote. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. That's from Dalai Lama, the 14th. Thank you, everyone, and God bless.